When this group of 11 and 12 year olds practiced their skills in the summer of 1975, the possibility of claiming a national title was something for them to dream about. The first step along their way to making that dream a reality was trying to claim the District 3 title. In order to do that, they had to come out on top of the 17 tournament held that year at Chapels Park. In the All North Ward final, they forced a sudden death deciding game against the current River Americans, emerging victorious in a close one to nothing final. Next up was a trip to Brockville to play in the All Ontario Major Little League Championships. Winning their opening game with a decisive eight to one score against Windsor, their three to one defeat of Toronto earned them entry into the final against Ottawa. A nail biting five to four extra inning game saw them sweep the series and emerge as Ontario champions. With no stop off back home, they traveled straight to Calgary to compete in the Canadian Championships as Team Ontario. In their opener against Lethbridge, they put in an amazing come from behind performance, winning the match 10 to nine, coming back from a seven to one deficit. With the defeat of Quebec nine to four and two losses to Calgary and Vancouver, they finished up the round robin with a two and two record. Defeating Lethbridge in a high scoring 17 to nine semi-final they were one step away from reaching their dream, with the hometown favorites, Calgary, the only thing standing in their way. The final game was captured on film, with the CTV network covering the action. Although no doubt adding to the pressure for the players on the field at the time, it provides a great chance to look back 30 years later, picking up the action in the third inning. Thunder Bay. And a runner on third base, runner on second base in the first inning. Now they have a runner on third here in the third inning. It's Olaven threatening. Still no score. Top of the third. The ball is hit on the right field, and Armerson has to go back for it. It's over his head. It's a home run. A home run for Larry Levy and Thunder Bay. Jumps into the lead. Two to nothing. A great hope by Larry Levy, a right-handed hitter, and he hit it down the right side. He hit it good. He Hit it to the opposite field, that's 200 feet there, and it went five, six, seven rows all week. Played every play. He hits it on the line, out in the center field, and scampering his ball, holds up at second base. We camp it under his pillow. He's a big boy. The pitch is low, gets away from the pitch. He hits it out in the center field, on the line. It's taken by the center fielder, Alverson. The play to the plate, he can't get him, and moving down to third base. For Thunder Bay is Glenn Wilson and Danny Moore. Uh, difficult to get a double play. Speedy man at third base. The pitch is low and gets away from the catcher. Morrow is coming home, he'll score! And the runners advance to second and third, and Thunder Bay lead by a score of four to nothing. There's a lot of motion right in the set position. The ball is hit off the glove of the pitcher, out into left field. Leesman is Jeff Backen. The pitch is outside. The throw goes to third base. Right inside gets away from the third baseman, Gillette, and hustling in the score, Jeff Backen. Sixth inning, Thunder Bay come up with three runs on two base hits, and they take a six-nothing lead. There's part of the Thunder Bay crowd watching this game. Some 60 of them traveled to this tournament. And there is the coach, Terry Tamala, or I should say Doug Cameron, talking to his catcher, Steve Dick, and to his pitcher, Dallas Allaire. They've had words of encouragement, no doubt about that. Here comes the pitch, the swing and a miss, and it's all over. Thunder Bay, bottom of the All-Stars, go out to mob Dallas Allaire, and well, they shot because they have won. The Canadian Little League Championship with a 6-2 victory. And look at that merriment and how happy manager Doug Cameron and coach Terry Tamala must be because this young group of people who fought and battled their way through the Ontario Divisional Championship then had to upset Lethbridge in the regular play, come back and beat them in a special playoff game, have defeated Calgary, and here's what it's all about. They're now shaking hands with each other, Jim. They're smiling, congratulating each other. That's what it's all about. Uh, With their victory, Port Arthur became the first and only team to date from Northwestern Ontario to ever claim a Canadian Major Little League title. The members of this historic team included number 11, Dallas Allaire, number 16, Jeff Backen, number 10, Tom Baxter, number 14, Jeff Bites, number 1, 
Stephen Dick. Number six, Gordon Malcolm. Number four, Danny Morrow. Number 15, Rob McCracken. Number five, Dennis Monk. Number 17, Barry Nemi. Number 20, David Perger. Number two, John Reed. Number nine, Ian Tetley. Number 21, Glenn Wilson. Manager, Doug Cameron. And coach, Terry Tumala. After two weeks on the road, this group of athletes returned home to a hero's welcome and arrived through town as Canadian champions. With no trip to the World Series available for Canadian team that year, this group of young athletes had proudly reached the highest level possible in their sport, having represented their hometown with pride and distinction all the way along their road to victory.